For me, I feel like Anikulapo is just overhyped. Point blank, period. But anyway, before you eat me or say that I'm trying to scut another person's business, please listen to the end. Hello people, it's Kofo here, K-O-F-O, -O, and you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. Very soon I'll stop this introduction. Maybe I'll not stop anyway. Anyhow, anyhow, let's see how it goes. So today I want to talk about the movie Anikulapo this series. You know, Anikulapo actually has the first part that was um, last year, that was released the last year, the Anikulapo itself. I mean, it was nice, nice movie. Then this year, Kunle Afolayon, he came about with this new Anikulapo the series. That's like the continuation of the Anikulapo last year. But here is the question. And since the Anikulapo came out on the 1st of March, it has been trending all over social media, all over everywhere, all over, all over, all over, all over, all over. So the thing is, you know, the trending thing is for publicity, right? And from people, reviews from people that have seen it. That So because of that, I decided to, because of the, because of the noise, not like noise, it did noise anyway. Because of the noise about it online, I decided to check it out as well. Even my Netflix wasn't even subscribed. I had to go and subscribe my Netflix because I wanted to um, watch Anikulaku. And yeah, yesterday I watched the series. Not like yesterday, I watched this series two days ago and I finished watching it yesterday. I finished watching this series yesterday. And the first question I'd like to ask, for those people that have watched it all, is it is it is it overhyped or the way the publicity is is it okay like that or is it overhyped or is it underhyped what do you guys think anyway maybe before the end of this video maybe you have an answer to that i'll just give you a summary of what i saw in the movie what i watched for me i feel like anikulapo is just overhyped period point blank period but anyway before it's me or say that i'm trying to scut another person's business please listen to the end before we start before we get into the movie i would like us to watch the thriller of the trailer is it trailer yeah i would like us to watch the trailer of the movie before we get into the analysis and the summary watch out Ti Bamma, 
so ni pe eje ka pe o lori ro la kewo nu ka si tutu ona mi bu do ye won ni mo sakile mo abi esi a je birin to fi ogun re de imole amu asi pa so ju di oja he let me just give you the summary of what went down anikulapo the series has six episodes and the first thing that put me off in the whole thing is one episode is one of the six episodes i was watching for two hours they never pity we that we are not really movie watchers like that one episode is like one hour over one hour maybe it's just like two of the six episodes that is not up to one hour the other ones are like over one hour kilo day waiting happen <laughs> people should be coming down now so because of that it was so long and i was sleeping off waking up sleeping off waking up that was my first issue with it like oh my this thing is just so long that it had to take me two days to even finish what two days even though up to three days self but anyway it was so long that was like that was like my first issue with it i'll be summarizing it episode by episode i'll be talking about the major characters one after the other so you can come to a conclusion if it is overrated if you've watched it if you still want to watch it if you want to rewatch or whatever it's your own decision but let me just give you the summary of the entire thing as i've said before it has six episodes it has 10 major and sub major characters and the number one would have to be saru saru is the anikulapo is the one that has the anikulapo but in this series is no longer anikulapo is the one that has is one that is dishing death to people now because that was the assignment that was given in episode one saru arola the queen the queen of the alafi of oyo then our is the sugar mommy saru sugar mommy in anikulapo then we have bashorun bashorun is <laughs> bashorun is actually my favorite character in that series please hands down bashorun is my favorite character because that man is so fine <laughs> bashorun is fine i was even thinking i was only what i noticed until i went to his instagram and i saw people there and they'll be looking for this man how can a man be so fine okay i can be our role they are not having crush and all of all these things on me like okay that means i'm not the only one that has eyes if you want to see it just go and watch the anikula anikula with the series and look for the scene where bashan is i mean it was the one that made me stay glued to this screen anyway because it was so fine let me not divert anyway let me just continue we have um omoba omo Umi is what i was getting married we have um, alafi himself the king of the oyo palace we have akoni whether it's akoni or aki it was gabriel afolaya that acted that acted akoni akonji i don't know akoni whether akoni or aki i can't really remember but yeah is a major character too. Lato Rera that finally got married to the child of the Pamoin Tapa. Lato Rera. Then there is um there's Awolaro, there's Kuranga, and there Adigun. Those ones are just to mention a few of the characters. Lai, there's Lai Wasabi also. There's Lai Wasabi inside. <laughs> there is Sisi Sisi Kodri as well. RIP to Sisi Kodri. There's Sisi Kodri. I mean I'll already mention any more than two, but yeah. Let's get into the episode. Episode 1. What episode 1 was all about? What episode 1 was all about? You know, in the last Anikolapo, Saro died. He was, he was, he was, he died. He was killed when he was asking for the king and the marriage and he couldn't raise the child of the king up. So he was killed and left on the mountain. But then the the color bed came to raise him up again and this time wasn't raising him up to continue with to continue with the living this time it was raising him up to go to the heaven's gate however when he got to the heaven's gate he could not enter because the only body that is like the gatekeeper of the heaven returned him <laughs> sent him back to the earth to those people that he woke up to go and kill them again so that he will be able to come back otherwise it's going to turn to stone so the gatekeeper now gave him like a necklace 
that this is what he's going to use. He said he has, he has um, woken 12, 20 people from the dead and he has to make sure he has to make sure that he kills those 20 people back before he can be able to go through the gates of heaven. So this he has to do. Then he came back to the came back to the world. But this time, came back as a spirit, he cannot be seen. He was able to kill three people out of the 20 people. Killed Lai Wasabi, killed one woman, killed CC Quadri. He was able to kill those ones back. The fourth person that I was supposed to kill, the woman who was blind. Then the woman now said she doesn't want to die. The woman decided to give him. Um, a was able to lead him on how to become a human back. And when he now, become, when he now became a human, the other, the people that he has that he killed, that the city Koji, they are like three mosquitoes. The three mosquitoes, they now, they now brought him food. Then he pleaded with them that they should give him three years. I just want to spend three years on earth. After the three years, he's going to follow them because they are like his dependents. He's the one that is going to take them through the gates of heaven. So he said they should just give him three years. And after that three years, he said they should just give him three years. So for that three years, those his dependents were making sure that he's living good. So what they did was... They gave him a business. They they gave him fortune. They gave him food. They gave him a business to do, which was selling palm wine. And in the village where it was to sell the palm wine, they already have a palm wine tapper. But when he came, his palm wine was better than the palm wine of the village palm wine tapper. So people moved to his side. However, the palm wine tapper has a very beautiful daughter, and <laughs> the palm wine tapper has a very beautiful daughter. So he got attracted to the daughter and the daughter got attracted to him. Blah blah blah. This is this. They got married. They got married without the consent of the girl's parents. Without the consent of her daughter. Without the consent of her father, the Pamwine Tapa, and the without the consent of her mother, who is somebody that we do not know as a season one. So as an episode one, that was episode one. Now episode two. Going back to Oyo Empire, going back to Oyo Empire, you know, they've been having issues of death in Oyo Empire and the chief priest has said, until Aralake comes back to Oyo before all these deaths can be averted. So they were looking for, they were looking for Aralake. Previous, before this time, they've already sent armies to the, to the forest to go and look for to go for a roller care in the nearby villages and bushes, but they were not able to find because Adigun came with a story that a roller care has died and they were going to leave it at that. Mm -hmm. However, Bashorun, Bashorun is my favorite character. I'm going to say this plenty, plenty times. <laughs> so Bashorun has this, like, is quite greedy in this movie. So he has his own self, like, he's, he's, he, he, he has pride and he wants a lot of things himself he wants his himself in fact he wants he wants his son to get married to the king's daughter so that he's going to be the in-law to the king anyway his grandchild is going to be a king you get because of his own selfish interest so he was giving attitude problems and the king wasn't having it even the other chiefs of Oyo they were not having it so he wanted to find out what is going on because the chief priest has said he can see that Arola K is not dead yet. So he decided to use Jazz to ask Adigun what exactly is going on. Where is Arola K? What happened when he went to look for Arola K? But anyway, because of the Jazz, it was Adigun is the head of the warriors in the village. Adigun now opened up to Obashar. And Obashar took him to the palace and he opened up and he talked about... And he talked about... Saru, when they were looking for when they were looking for Aralake, he was he got bitten by the snake and he died. But it was Saru that woke him up? They said they should not they should not disclose that they are still alive. Blah blah blah. Go and watch it yourself. They should not disclose they are still alive. Blah blah blah. Then Bashar now thought about it. That, ah, so this Saru that they thought has died is still alive. It's not just that he's alive. But now he now has the power to raise the dead. If I am the one that has this power, ah, I'll be a god. 
people were falling over themselves. So because of that, he lost it after the power. So everybody was looking for a roller care. He was not looking for a roller care. He was looking for Saru so they can get the power to raise people from the dead from Saru. Unknowing to him that the power is no longer exists. In fact, the power that Saru has is the power to kill people, not to wake people from the dead. Now, episode three is the third year that Saru pleaded from his dependent is already fast approaching and this time the dependents like the other the ghosts they were already talking to him about reminding him about his time is already up and because of that he used to talk to the ghost his wife Lato Rera is already pregnant and she noticed all of this she decided to confront Saroda guy what's going on I can see that you are speaking to the spirits what's going on tell me he said there's nothing 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 she even took her to the water so that they can communicate better and where he was able to open up to her and she said she knows somebody that can help him out from this issue and i was like okay so because of that she wanted to visit her mother that is going to help her husband out of this situation no the mother doesn't know about the marriage between she and she because she her, hus- her mother and her father are separated so our, our mother doesn't really know things about her but she wants to go and visit her mother because of her husband and introduce her husband to talk about her husband to her mother and on the other hand Arulake that they've been looking for Arulake by herself she has been roaming around in the bush she got to meet this family this Akin's family is it Akin or Akoni got to meet Akoni's family they took her in and she got fortunate by getting a pouch of wealth where the wealth never ends if i have that kind of post god <laughs> that you just to put in money you will be putting her like this money is not going to finish so because of that she now became extremely wealthy in the new village that she is and she got the information that they are already looking for her the people of Oye empire are already looking for her so because of as a rich woman now she doubled her security and decided to be covering her face like eleha muslim eleha so that's for episode three. Now episode four. Tora has come to meet her mother to talk about herself. Her mother was very happy, and to our greatest surprise, you can't believe who her mother is. Our room, Saro Sugar Mommy, and Ikulabu Part One. <laughs> that is Latorera's mom. So she was talking about her husband. She was talking about her husband, the Saro. She was like, Saro, how? And she described, in fact, they even had to describe the Saru. She told it because our room was dating Bashanu there. So, you know, Bashanu was looking for Saru because of the power, the anukula power that he wants from Saru. So, our room was now troubled. She told her boyfriend, which is Bashanu, about this revelation. And Bashanu, because of his own intention, was like, we need to get Saru. In fact, we need to get Saru. And... It shall have became one or two this thing like that. It caused issues between Awaru and and Basharu because the issue was Awaru wanted a son, a daughter, that's Latorera, to leave Saru, but no, she's not leaving her husband, blah 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 blah. And you know Saru's time says Saru's time is already almost up. The people that um, Basharu has already sent at the gun, the head of the village warriors to go and look for to go and look for Saru. Basharu and Awaru and Lato Rera they were still dragging on the issue of Saru, the one Saru. Saru is my husband, I cannot leave him, blah blah blah. Adigun has already found Saru. Adigun has already found Saru and was bringing Saru to to Basharu. So Saru is not even in the house. So even when if Latorera goes back, he's not going to meet her husband because her husband has already been kidnapped by Adigun to bring him to Bashar. Now episode five. You know I said it earlier that Bashar wants his son to get married to the princess so that he will have a granddaughter that will become a king. However, <laughs> However, because the king is trying to form a relationship with the neighboring village, he decided to give the daughter to the prince of the neighboring village, who his name is Kuranga. Because of this now, so everything is like 
working against passion like i want this power to myself first now i want my child to get married to this princess although the child actually is in love with the princess as well but it is not happening the king is now betrothing his daughter to the prince of another kingdom and because of this Bashan is not happy his son Awolanro is not happy as well but anyway Tobalashe is the king that the king has the power and that's what I mean by Tobalashe the king has the power that's that's what I mean by Tobalashe king has commanded that it happened there was a wedding between Ede Prince Kuranga and Omongumi the princess of the the princess of the king they got married but before then Basharun, because he wasn't happy about it, he decided to put thunderbolts, they call him Magum, for the daughter of the king. I heard that anybody that sleeps with the daughter of the king is going to die. Wedding night came and Kuranga was to sleep with the daughter of the king and he died. So as he died like this, people's prime suspect was Basharun, but there was no evidence to show that he's the one that killed him. Bashar, on the other hand, was happy because he has been able to capture Saru and he believes that capturing Saru he already has the power that is needed. So he came to the king, came to come and tell the king that he's going to wake he's going to wake Kuranga up if he hits by his information if he hits by his, his rules by his child must get married to his own son. His child must get married to his own son. And his wife, he because I skipped all those parts, Sha. Wasn't you go and watch it by yourself if you know. And Aralake, because Aralake has been found, found by the king, Aralake is going to be killed by in the market square. So he has to agree for that so that he's going to wake because he believes that there's still power. He still has the power to raise the dead. That Sarah has the power to raise the dead. So he's going to be using Sarah. So the king agreed. They took Kuranga to meet Sarah so that he would wake dead but Sarah no longer has the power to raise anybody from the dead before then he tried to make him try his power by killing by killing Adikun that brought him that has been looking for him that has been working for him oh, he killed Adikun he stabbed Adikun and said that Sarah should wake him up but Sarah cannot wake him up because Sarah now gave him an excuse that because he has woken him up before so he cannot wake him up again so he decided to try with another person that okay oh Kuranga is here. You've not seen Kuranga before. Wake Kuranga up. He said he cannot wake Kuranga up. But one of his ghosts that has been following him, one of all those ghosts that has been following him, that his time is up. One of them, because he, he, seeks, he seeks help from them. One of them now laid down on me, on the Kuranga's body. Now woke up. But this is waking up. Do not wake up like real. He woke up and was acting like was acting strange. He got back to the shah. The shah went back to his village. He did not speak to anyone. He did not drink any. So his waking up was just like artificial waking up. He's still he's already dead. You understand? So he woke up, go back to his village, and when he got to his village the next day, he has died. Because of that, this one, that one, that one, that one caused quarrel between the two cities, between the two villages, and. The people of Ede came and long story short, <laughs> long story short, they killed my sugar daddy in the movie. They killed my, uh, not my sugar daddy, my, my sugar crush daddy. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> they now killed Basharu in that, in that season six. Oh, I'm already at that season six. I episode six. I don't know. Anyway, I'm already recycling like that. I don't know that I'm already at that episode six. They shall kill the Bashar. When they now killed Bashar, the other people now came to carry their wife, came to carry a mommy. And after carrying a mommy, after carrying a mommy, Saru appeared to Aralake in the dream. Aralake that they said they wanted to kill by the market square. They were not able to kill her. She was like almost beheaded but she was lucky enough because the people of Ede came to come and kill because the people of Ede came, came to come and kill um Bashar Nubujimi that wanted to behead Aralake as at that time as at the right time so Sarah appeared to Aralake in the dream I was like you know you should just 
it should just um it should help me take care of my wife i have a wife she helped me take care of my wife when she went to go and look for the wife she saw that our own the mother of the mother of Lato Rara, they already did. They now name the child of Saru. They name the child Saru. Oh, I, how did I even skip this part? We hear Bashonu. Bashonu asked for the secret of wealth of Arolake. And he gave out this man. He can be, he's so greedy. He acted so well. He's so greedy. The movie ended where Saru, where Arolake went to go and visit the people of the the wife of Saroda's Latorera and our own the mother she came to visit them but we did not know if they did not tell us if Saru died or he did not die what happened after Aralake came to stay with the family of the with uh, Saru's wife what happened we did not know maybe there's going to be a part to this which me i'm not feeling i don't like all these parts 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 they are just making it unnecessarily long one of the reasons why i didn't fancy it. it's so long maybe the movie is interesting it is something interesting and you anticipate to watch it they have fine characters they are fine characters the action is like it keeps you on your toes it's quite horror the makeup and everything was top notch you even you even forget that you're watching a nigerian film like the cultural the cultural um input in it is very very strong and you know i mean it's only a follow it's only a follow production so i mean it's the producer of the movie so you expect nothing 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 you expect the best child the best of the best from him but my own challenge is that this thing is too long and this thing has no end so we'll be expecting another series what do you think about it? Is it overrated? Is it nice? Or whatever, what do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section. Let me know in the comment section as we go through another talk your talk. Anyway, keep up with my videos. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you are not new, keep watching my other videos, my other vlogs, my other two cents video that I've done, my other reaction video. Keep watching. Let's build a community. And I, lo and I love you so much. Bye. See you guys in my next video. Bye.